Albinism, Wikipedia article audio. Albinism in humans is a congenital disorder characterized by the complete or partial absence of pigment in the skin, hair, and eyes. Albinism is associated with a number of vision defects, such as photophobia, nystagmus, and amblyopia. Lack of skin pigmentation makes for more susceptibility to sunburn and skin cancers. In rare cases such as Chediak Higashi syndrome, albinism may be associated with deficiencies in the transportation of melanin granules. This also affects essential granules present in immune cells leading to increased susceptibility to infection. Albinism results from inheritance of recessive gene alleles and is known to affect all vertebrates, including humans. It is due to absence or defect of tyrosinase, a copper-containing enzyme involved in the production of melanin. It is the opposite of melanism. Unlike humans, other animals have multiple pigments and for these, albinism is considered to be a hereditary condition characterized by the absence of melanin in particular, in the eyes, skin, hair, scales, feathers, or cuticle. While an organism with complete absence of melanin is called an albino, an organism with only a diminished amount of melanin is described as leucistic or albinoid. The term is from the Latin albus, white. Signs and symptoms Visual problems In humans, there are two principal types of albinism, oculocutaneous affecting the eyes, skin, and hair, and ocular affecting the eyes only. There are different types of oculocutaneous albinism depending on which gene has undergone mutation. With some there is no pigment at all. The other end of the spectrum of albinism is a form of albinism called rufous oculocutaneous albinism, which usually affects dark-skinned people. According to the National Organization for Albinism and Hypopigmentation, with ocular albinism, the color of the iris of the eye may vary from blue to green or even brown, and sometimes darkens with age. However, when an eye doctor examines the eye by shining a light from the side of the eye, the light shines back through the iris since very little pigment is present. Because individuals with albinism have skin that entirely lacks the dark pigment melanin, which helps protect the skin from the sun's ultraviolet radiation, their skin can burn more easily from overexposure. The human eye normally produces enough pigment to color the iris blue, green, or brown and lend opacity to the eye. In photographs, those with albinism are more likely to demonstrate red eye due to the red of retina being visible through the iris. Lack of pigment in the eyes also results in problems with vision, both related and unrelated to photosensitivity. Genetics Those afflicted with albinism are generally as healthy as the rest of the population, with growth and development occurring as normal, and albinism by itself does not cause mortality although the lack of pigment blocking ultraviolet radiation increases the risk of melanomas and other problems. Development of the optical system is highly dependent on the presence of melanin. For this reason, the reduction or absence of this pigment in people with albinism may lead to Enzyme Eye conditions common in albinism include the improper development of the retinal pigment epithelium, which in normal eyes absorbs most of the reflected sunlight, further increases glare due to light scattering within the eye. The resulting sensitivity generally leads to discomfort in bright light, but this can be reduced by the use of sunglasses or brimmed hats. Oculocutaneous albinism is generally the result of the biological inheritance of genetically recessive alleles passed from both parents of an individual for example OCA1 and OCA2. 
A mutation in the human TRP1 gene may result in the deregulation of melanocyte tyrosinase enzymes, a change that is hypothesized to promote brown versus black melanin synthesis, resulting in a third oculocutaneous albinism genotype, OCA3. Some rare forms are inherited from only one parent. There are other genetic mutations which are proven to be associated with albinism. All alterations, however, lead to changes in melanin production in the body. Some of these are associated with increased risk of skin cancer. Evolutionary Theories The chance of offspring with albinism resulting from the pairing of an organism with albinism and one without albinism is low. However, because organisms can be carriers of genes for albinism without exhibiting any traits, albinistic offspring can be produced by two non-albinistic parents. Albinism usually occurs with equal frequency in both sexes. An exception to this is ocular albinism, which it is passed on to offspring through X-linked inheritance. Thus, Ocular albinism occurs more frequently in males as they have a single X and Y chromosome, unlike females, whose genetics are characterized by two X chromosomes. Diagnosis There are two different forms of albinism, a partial lack of the melanin is known as hypomelanism or hypomelanosis and the total absence of melanin is known as amelanism or amelanosis. Treatment The enzyme defect responsible for OCA1 type albinism is tyrosine 3 monooxygenase, which synthesizes melanin from the amino acid tyrosine. It is suggested that the early hominin evolved in East Africa around 3 million years ago. The dramatic phenotypic change from primate to early hominin is hypothesized to have involved the extreme loss of body hair except for areas most exposed to UV radiation, such as the head to allow for more efficient thermoregulation in the early hunter-gatherers. The skin that would have been exposed upon general body hair loss in these early hominins would have most likely been non-pigmented reflecting the pale skin underlying the hair of our chimpanzee relatives. A positive advantage would have been conferred to early hominids inhabiting the African continent that were capable of producing darker skin those who first expressed the eumelanin producing MC1R allele which protected them from harmful epithelium damaging ultraviolet rays. Over time, the advantage conferred to those with darker skin may have led to the prevalence of darker skin on the continent. The positive advantage, however, would have had to be strong enough so as to produce a significantly higher reproductive fitness in those who produced more melanin. The cause of a selective pressure strong enough to cause this shift is an area of much debate. Some hypotheses include the existence of significantly lower reproductive fitness in people with less melanin due to lethal skin cancer, lethal kidney disease due to excess vitamin D formation in the skin of people with less melanin, or simply natural selection due to mate preference and sexual selection. Epidemiology when comparing the prevalence of albinism in Africa to its prevalence in other parts of the world, such as Europe and the United States, the potential evolutionary effects of skin cancer as a selective force due to its effect on these populations may not be insignificant. The prevalence of albinism in some ethnic groups in sub-Saharan Africa is around 1 in 5,000, while in Europe and the U.S. it is 1 in 20,000. It would follow, then, that there would be stronger selective forces acting on albino populations in Africa than on albino populations in Europe and the U.S. Rates as high as 1 in 1,000 have been reported for some populations in Zimbabwe and other parts of southern Africa. In two separate studies in Nigeria, people with albinism were found to be of reproductively significant age more often than not. 
One study found that 89% of people diagnosed with albinism are between 0 and 30 years of age, while the other found that 77% of albinos were under the age of 20. Genetic testing can confirm albinism and what variety it is, but offers no medical benefits except in the cases of non-OCA disorders that cause albinism along with other medical problems which may be treatable. There is no cure for albinism. The symptoms of albinism can be assisted by various methods. Since there is no cure for albinism, it is managed through lifestyle adjustments. People with albinism need to take care not to sunburn and should have regular healthy skin checks by a dermatologist. For the most part, treatment of the eye conditions consists of visual rehabilitation. Surgery is possible on the extraocular muscles to decrease strabismus. Nystagmus damping surgery can also be performed, to reduce the shaking of the eyes back and forth. The effectiveness of all these procedures varies greatly and depends on individual circumstances. Glasses, low vision aids, large print materials and bright angled reading lights can help individuals with albinism. Some people with albinism do well using bifocals, prescription reading glasses, handheld devices such as magnifiers or monoculars or wearable devices like eSight and BrainPort. Society and Culture Albinism is often associated with the absence of an iris in the eye. Contact lenses may be colored to block light transmission through the aneritic eye. Some use bioptics. Glasses which have small telescopes mounted on, in, or behind their regular lenses, so that they can look through either the regular lens or the telescope. Newer designs of bioptics use smaller lightweight lenses. Some U.S. states allow the use of bioptic telescopes for driving motor vehicles. Persecution of people with albinism To support those with albinism, and their families, the National Organization for Albinism and Hypopigmentation was set up to provide a network of resources and information. Misrooting of the retinogeniculate projections, resulting in abnormal decussation of optic nerve fibers, photophobia and decreased visual acuity due to light scattering within the eye photophobia is specifically when light enters the eye, unrestricted with full force. It is painful and causes extreme sensitivity to light, reduced visual acuity due to foveal hypoplasia and possibly light-induced retinal damage. Albinism affects people of all ethnic backgrounds, its frequency worldwide is estimated to be approximately 1 in 17,000. Prevalence of the different forms of albinism varies considerably by population, and is highest overall in people of sub-Saharan African descent. Certain ethnic groups and populations in isolated areas exhibit heightened susceptibility to albinism, presumably due to genetic factors. These include notably the Native American Kuna, Zuni, and Hopi nations, Japan, in which one particular form of albinism is unusually common, and Yukari Island the population of which shows a very high incidence of albinism. Nystagmus, irregular rapid movement of the eyes back and forth, or in circular motion, amblyopia, decrease in acuity of one or both eyes due to poor transmission to the brain, often due to other conditions such as strabismus, optic nerve hypoplasia, underdevelopment of the optic nerve. In physical terms, humans with albinism commonly have visual problems and need sun protection. Albinism in Popular Culture International Albinism Awareness Day Other Organisms Humans with albinism often face social and cultural challenges, as the condition is often a source of ridicule, discrimination, or even fear and violence. 
it is especially socially stigmatized in many African societies. A study conducted in Nigeria on albino children stated that they experienced alienation, avoided social interactions and were less emotionally stable. Furthermore, affected individuals were less likely to complete schooling, find employment, and find partners. Many cultures around the world have developed beliefs regarding people with albinism. In African countries such as Tanzania and Burundi, there has been an unprecedented rise in witchcraft-related killings of people with albinism in recent years, because their body parts are used in potions sold by witch doctors. Numerous authenticated incidents have occurred in Africa during the 21st century. For example, in Tanzania, in September 2009, Three men were convicted of killing a 14-year-old albino boy and severing his legs in order to sell them for witchcraft purposes. Again in Tanzania and Burundi in 2010, the murder and dismemberment of a kidnapped albino child was reported from the courts, as part of a continuing problem. The US-based National Geographic Society estimated that in Tanzania a complete set of albino body parts is worth 75,000 US dollars. Another harmful and false belief is that sex with an albinistic woman will cure a man of HIV. This has led, for example in Zimbabwe, to rapes. Famous people with albinism include historical figures such as Oxford Don William Archibald Spooner, actor-comedian Victor Varnado, musicians such as Johnny and Edgar Winter, Salif Keita, Winston Yellowman Foster, Brother Ali, Savuka, Willie Piano Red Perryman, and fashion models Connie Chu and Sean Ross. Emperor Sania of Japan is thought to have been an albino because he was said to have been born with white hair. International Albinism Awareness Day was established after a motion was accepted on December 18, 2014 by the United Nations General Assembly, proclaiming that as of 2015, June 13 would be known as International Albinism Awareness Day. This was followed by a mandate created by the United Nations Human Rights Council that appointed Mizig Ponwosa Aero, who is from Nigeria, as the very first independent expert on the enjoyment of human rights by persons with albinism. Albinism and other types of pigment mutations occur in both animals and plants.